Okay, so today um, I want to talk about um, this MacBook here. So this is a MacBook Pro, uh, 13 inch, using the uh, new M1 processor. And you know I use this laptop for work, and it actually works pretty great. Uh, but the things that I hate, um, you know, using this this MacBook M1, is that first you know it has a very limited port so it's only you know it only has um like a two ports there right only two type c ports while my previous macbook so i previously use uh, macbook um in 2015 you know, it has a lot of ports so it's it was it feels like a little bit downgrade here but the other things that i also uh kind of disappointed with the new MacBook M1, at least this version here, is that it does not support uh, multi-display out of the box. Right, so you need to purchase uh, some um, type of docks that will allow you to um, have a multi multi-display setup. And you know there are different options for this, but mostly you know this dock uh, are quite expensive. So I just try to find a dock that at least you know can support two display because i usually work with uh, two monitor right so i i go through amazon and um i found this wa wafling dock um it is i think the cheapest um uh, adapter from usb a to hdmi adapter so i think when i read the the details it support uh, display link so for your macbook m1 to support multi-display uh, you need to use a dock or adapter that support you know this display link technology right so i was so i bought it for 40 bucks and um this is the series is uh wavelink uh, wl ug 3501h and i was checking in on the internet and i thought uh, this should support display link so um so I'll try to see if I can use this um, to, uh, you know, set up a multi-display with my MacBook Pro 13 M1. Okay. okay. Let's just open this and um, let's put things to the side. Here's what, what you get uh, from it. So you get the adapter here. Um, so it, it, the output it has like a HDMI port output here. Um, the uh, the connection to the to the uh, computer is going to be using USB A. So you, you're going to need uh, some forms of USB hub, so Type C to Type A uh, to connect this later on. It also has some additional port for audio, so you can extract audio from your uh, um, HDMI signal later. So yeah. So let's see if we can use this to um, output the MacBook M1 to multiple display setup. It also come with uh, additional uh, adapter here. So adapter from HDMI to uh, I mean, uh, to DVI connector. Right. So if you using maybe an older uh, monitor, uh, this is a free adapter that is included in the box. Yeah, so before uh, you connect um, your MacBook M1 to the adapter, you're going to install the Display Link adapter here. Uh, so you just go to the their website or just Google Display Link and go to the download um, tab here and then, you know, select the uh, Mac OS tab and then you just, you know, download and then install. Then after you finish the installer and then you agree with the uh, all the um, uh, permission and things like that you'll have this small tab here uh, showing that you have successfully installed display link and you have an option to and always launch automatically the display link here after login right so i just set it up so i don't have to tweak that later on now what we're going to do here we try to connect this uh, MacBook Pro M1 here uh, with my two monitors 
as you can see here, there's a, I have two monitors here. Um, so again, as I said, you're going to need um, some forms of uh, USB hub. So I have the, here an Anchor USB hub. So it, it has this USB type C port, which I will use to connect to the MacBook. And uh, it has several different output here. So it has two USB A um, connector here. There's uh, another type C uh, output. Um, it also has a micro uh, SD and SD card reader. It has an HDMI output and also USB-C for power. So the idea here would be you connect this uh, USB-C hub to the Mac and then everything else will be connected to this adapter. So you connect the power to this uh, power input. You connect the first monitor to the uh, HDMI here. Right, and then you connect the second uh, output for the display using the adapter to this USB-A connector, right? So that's how you only have one connection, but you can it can gives you power and also additional port for maybe some storage and also for these two display setup. So that's the, the plan, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this USB hub to the Mac um okay so it's connected to the mac you can see it turns on now i'm going to connect power to it so this is a, a power cable i'm going to connect it to power input here okay now as you can see so after i connect the uh the power input here to the dock it'll charge the mac as you can see here so what we're going to do next is to connect the uh to display to the uh we connect the display to the hub right so the first one is going to be the hdmi so we're going to connect the hdmi to the to the hub here okay using this normal hdmi connection as you can see now the second display shows up so it's in my first monitor on top here, right? Now we're going to attach the second one. Now the second one, it uses the Wavelink adapter connected to an HDMI for the second monitor so on the left. Um, so it connect using the USB-A. So we're going to connect this to um, my anchor hub here. So it's one side USB-A here. So there's a, a you know, a two USB A. You can use either one. And then just plug it here. And then we'll see that it turns on. So you can see uh, now a uh, second display shows up as well. And you can see here um, the setting, right? So you can see my mouse here on the left. You can see my mouse on the right. Right? And also my mouse on the on the max on the bottom here. And also adjust the arrangement here. So you can see the arrangement on the second monitor. Um, you can see, uh, I'm gonna move it to the, the other monitor here. All right, so you can see you have three monitors set up, detected by the Mac. And you can adjust the, adjust the arrangements of this. I mean, you wanna put it in certain arrangement or you have a, maybe vertical arrangements or horizontal arrangements or the monitor, you can adjust it here. And you can see here, I, I can try to move the window from one monitor to another monitor. So all of them connected pretty well. So what I like about this setup here is that you only need to connect one cable to your Mac and then, you know, you connect it to this anchor USB hub here and you get the power you know from this uh power cable here and you can see it's charging right now and also it provides this two display setup so one native hdmi and then one connected to uh, the wavelength adapter and then connected to hdmi to the second screen so you can see we have three display setup here and then 
you still have some extra port here extra USB A type C port and also a type C on the MacBook itself okay so yeah basically this is just, I want to share uh, how I can get a multi display setup you know using this again wavelink adapter for my second display output here and also you know using the anchor hub here to get this only one cable connected to the mac and you get the power also a display plus extra additional ports for maybe some uh you know usb or some mouse or keyboard something like that all right 